Good morning, you guys. Welcome to my very first Vlogmas video. I'm so excited. I really wanted to do Vlogmas last year, but if you guys remember, I was very sick and I was having a lot of problems with my old apartment and the air in that apartment. So there was just no way that I was gonna be able to film every single day. But this year I am feeling way more up for it. I'm so excited. Christmas is by far my favorite holiday. I love decorating for Christmas. I love Christmas baking. I love seeing the city lit up and everybody's so happy and gift giving, like everything about this holiday I adore. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. And I know I'm starting a little bit early. If I finish uh, filming and editing today, it'll be December the 8th, but I wanna do like a full 12 days of Vlogmas, um, but I have more special Christmassy videos that I wanna put out closer to Christmas, like in the final days before. So that's why we're starting a little bit early. But today is an exciting way to start off Vlogmas because we are gonna prepare to celebrate Jean's birthday. Um, it is not his birthday, but while I was in Greece, I missed two very significant occasions for Jean and I. I missed our anniversary and I missed his birthday as well. And that might not like come across as such a big deal, but I love birthdays. They're so important to me. My birthday is important to me. And so I like to make sure that other people feel really special and cared for on their birthday. And I didn't get the chance to do that for Jean because I was in Greece. So, um, Today, we're going to make his cake, we're gonna go get his gift, we're gonna decorate, and then later on, we'll probably go to dinner and um, maybe a Christmassy activity when I do the Christmas market. But yeah, big day ahead. I spent the whole morning um, looking at recipes and getting my list of ingredients sorted out. I wanna make a banoffee for him, which is a daring recipe to try with my hand still out of commission. I'm, I think, three days post-op, so I'm in a lot less pain, especially since they took the infection out, thank goodness. Um, but I'm still not really supposed to be using it, and I really want it to heal as fast as possible. But yeah, given that, banoffee is kind of a, a daring choice to make because you not only have to make the banoffee, like make the cake, but you also have to make the caramel, which can be kind of tough because, um, you know, every step you do has to be precise in order for the caramel to taste good and not burn and be liquidy. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I just want to switch things up because I always bake us like brownies and cakes and brookies and everything. So I just want to change things up and, you know, surprise him with something new. And the gift that I'm going to get him is slippers because this man needs them. Let me show you the state of his current slippers. This poor man has me putting him on blast, but look at the state of the slippers, okay? They are ripped and holed in every single way possible. And they're also not really slippers meant for winter. Like they're very thin, okay? The material is definitely not warm. They are espadrilles, which is really common for French people to wear around the house, but they're just not the most warm slippers. So I'm excited to get him a new pair of slippers. I had to do some research because I like to give secondhand gifts, but you can't really do that for slippers. So I just wanna make sure that I found a store that sold slippers that are made in France, like ethically and all that. So that is also on the agenda for today. Oh my God, there was also one other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about because I also spent this morning doing some Christmas shopping. I really do my best to only give people secondhand or homemade gifts for Christmas because while I do like the holidays, I don't love the overconsumption. Like I don't, there's just so many amazing things that are already made in this world. Like there's really no need to buy a whole bunch of things and spend a lot of money on gifts. It really is like, in my opinion, it really is the thought that counts. And sometimes you can find the most unique gifts secondhand. So I was doing some searching on Vinted this morning and I'll show you guys what I found. Okay, the first gift I found is for Jean's sister's husband. He wanted leather gloves. And so I found these on Vinted. Let 
Maybe you can see, oh my God, the glare, the glare. Okay, I'll put a screenshot on the screen. But they are brand new leather gloves with tag, with the box. I'm assuming they just didn't fit the person or they didn't like them. So yeah, to me that counts as second hand. If you're buying off of Vinted, if you are buying from someone who just doesn't have a use for their purchase and they can't return it, then you know, that's good enough for me. And then for his sister, I found the most beautiful American Vintage wool sweater. American Vintage is one of my favorite sweater brands, but the sweaters are really, really pricey. They're about 160 euros. So um, I would never be able to spend that much money on a sweater. And people on Vinted sell them for really reasonable prices. So this sweater that I'll put on the screen, I found for 50 euros and I negotiated down to 45 and I bought it for her. So that was really exciting. I, I just, I love, Vinted is dangerous for me because I could spend hours on Vinted and just like buy myself a whole new wardrobe, which is also not good. Like again, overconsumption, even if it's secondhand is not good. But, um, Oh my god, I feel so hyper. I just like, I feel out of breath. I feel so hyper. I feel so excited to be filming. But uh, let's just, let's stop this talking. This is way too much because we are a little bit pressed for time because everything took me so long this morning. I only have one hand that I can use. So anything I do is like extra slow. I'm sitting there responding to emails with one finger. It's, it's like very slow. So we're running out of time and I have to go to the grocery store to pick up the rest of the ingredients for the banoffee and then we have to make the banoffee and get the gift and all that. So let's go. Oh my God, there's one more thing that I really wanna show you guys is the coat that I'm gonna wear to leave the house and go out today. I bought it on Vinted like right before I left for Greece and I sent it to the dry cleaners to get clean and John picked it up. And so I just tried it on for the first time yesterday and I'm in love. I just wanna show you guys and let me know what you think down below because maybe I'm crazy. It's not the most modern looking coat, but I just, it's so warm, it's so beautiful. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay, here she is, let me, okay, let me put the camera down and step back. Okay, so it's just a long, I think it's called a Sherpa coat, but so warm. And this was such a steal. I think I got this for 60 euros, which for me is, is a steal for this kind of quality coat. It's also made in France and everything. Um, but yeah, if you don't have vintage already, I definitely recommend that you guys check it out for your Christmas shopping. Uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like really out of breath. I'm sorry that I'm so hyper. I really just think I'm so excited to be filming vlogmas I promise because I know I see all the comments all the time that I speak too fast and I'm sorry next vlogmas tomorrow I will I'll be more zen for you guys <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with the caramel because that's gonna be the hardest thing to make and if I mess it up, I'm gonna have to redo it. So I'd rather just get that part over with first. Um, I'm heating up the sugar, I'm heating up the cream. I'll leave the recipe that I'm using down below. I have done this a couple times and I really do like this recipe. Um, and you'll need four ingredients. You need sugar, cream, butter, and salt. So cross your fingers, let's hope this goes well. Okay, so I kind of sped through the recipe while the caramel was cooking because given how slow I'm going, it would just not be interesting for me to show you every step. But the caramel is done. The one thing I do want to say if you guys make your own caramel is that make sure that when before you pour the cream into the sugar, it is hot. Like either microwave it or heat it on the stove because I make this mistake all the time. And even now it wasn't hot enough. So there were a couple chunks I had to take out. But if you put the cream in without it being the same temperature or close enough to the sugar, then 
once it goes in the sugar like a lot of the sugar starts to harden and then it doesn't turn into the liquid caramel um but yeah this is what it looks like it tastes really yummy which is good and then while the caramel was cooking i was also mixing up my speculus cookies butter and a little bit of brown sugar to make like the crumbly bottom you'll see here it's i pressed it into the bottom of the dish and then i just sliced up five bananas and arranged them messily on top the next step is to layer this with a thick amount of caramel and then we'll move on to literally just whipping together the cream the mascarpone the icing sugar and the vanilla to make the whipped cream topping so before i do that i'll just put a good amount of the caramel on top i want to leave a little bit so i can drizzle it um, on the top of the cake after i put on the whipped cream to make it look more aesthetic okay so there we go that's what she looks like we're almost done which is so nice it's actually way easier than i thought um i'm just gonna set that aside and we'll grab all of the ingredients for the cream and what i find works really well is if you put the mascarpone and the cream and the as well as the whisk that you use on your blender in the freezer so they get really cold that way they fluff up better Mm, I love homemade caramel. really nice actually if I do say so myself the only problem with making this for Jean is I don't know if you can see behind me but there is a massive pile of dishes that I can't really do because I can't wet this the hospital specifically said if there's one thing you don't do is wet this bandage so ooh, hopefully this is good enough to make him forget all the dishes he has to do but I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then I'm gonna go get the decorations that I wanna start setting up. Okay, so this is the box of holiday supplies that I keep because I go all out for like every holiday, Valentine's Day, birthdays, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, so I like to just keep a stock of all the decorations so I can reuse them every year as opposed to buying brand new ones. Um, the only wrapping paper that we have right now is this green one and these flowers. So I think I'll probably use the green one. So much Valentine's Day stuff. These are the decorations that he actually bought um, when he decorated for welcoming me home from Canada, there's like the welcome home banner, but I like these gold spirals. So I might hang those from the ceiling. I also have these 28 candles from, gosh, I forget whose birthday it was, but I reuse candles as well because really you light them for two seconds and then you blow them out. Like there's no point in throwing them out. So I'm going to use those on the cake. I have a birthday boy pin. And the only other festive thing I have is this little banner that I bought for my old boss's baby shower. <laughs> so I'm not so sure this is Jean birthday themed. If I have time when I'm out buying the slippers, I will see if I can also go into a party store and pick up maybe a more 
happy birthday style banner. But yeah, the slipper store is in the 15th and it opens in about 25 minutes. So I figure it's probably better to get the gift before I decorate. That way, um, if Jean does come home early, then at least the gift is done. <laughs> and I'm not like out and about running around trying to get the slippers. Okay, John just opened his gift. He's gonna give us a little try on and end of review. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, what do we think? It's perfect. Okay, no, give the real thing you said, which is. Um, it's old school. No, it's for grandpas. grandpas. <laughs> but I like it. My father has the, have the approximately the same thing. Yeah, they're nice. He's sending a picture to his mom, but um, yeah, these ones are specific. The style is called Charentin and Jean. Charentes. Sorry, Charentes. And Jean is from the Charente Maritime, so that is why I want to get him that style, but apparently they're for old people. Um, <laughs> but they're handmade, they're made in France. She showed me the stitching is all handmade. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was a, a nice, a nice gift. And also Jean's favorite color is green. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're going to try the banoffee just a little bit because then we're going to go to dinner, probably at the Bouillon Pigalle. Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's the first time. Mm -hmm. when you make that face we're back from the restaurant um cancel bouillon pigara 2024 because the food was so bad it used to be, guys it used to be my favorite restaurant and we go and the steak is half the size that it usually is the sauce is literally water i was so disappointed it just like really really went downhill it's so funny because I used to ride so hard for that restaurant. But I think that's it for Vlogmas Day 1. We're going to put on our PJs and watch Lost. My finger is starting to hurt quite a lot. I think it's because I was cooking for a while today and I probably shouldn't have done that. But I'm excited because the nurse comes tomorrow and they're going to change my bandage and they can tell me that everything is all good. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. I thought you were going to say something. See you guys. <laughs>